bought a shroud. Welcome back to another episode of the Project Driveway. Last week, sorry, the week before, I had a bit of trouble with the radiator, if you remember, with um, the whole fans not fitting. And as you see, now they fit. So what I did during the week, I'm going to pull this out, I bought a shroud off eBay. It's all eBay spec. But um, because it's a GC8 rad, I bought the GC8 fans and shroud. I didn't have to go this route. I could have just got stock ones, but easier to get them delivered to my door. They came pretty quick. Came from the Melbournes, and they were cheap too. Um, but yeah, it fits pretty fucking sick, if you tell me. Other than bits and pieces, but what do you expect from eBay spec? Um, and another problem we had was the mounting points, which I also found out GC8, so the Impreza version, their um, mountings are exactly what I need. They should just pop on, hopefully. If not, a bit of adjustment, a bit of persuasion with a hammer won't help. I mean, will help. So, today, I'm going to put it in, get the fans wired up, which is easy. Let's hope the um, top and bottom rad hose fits. Let's hope, which they probably will, but you know the go. Um, another thing i got to do is i got to figure out how I'm doing my new expansion, not expansion tank, my overflow bottle. Because the Forester ones, they sit like here, where there's no more bolt holes for them to go. Maybe there is. We'll see how we go. If not, um, I think I'm just going to use something else small. It doesn't need to be big. Um, and just custom fit it somewhere. Wherever I want. I don't know. First things first, I think we're going to do these plugs. Because they just come with little nippy terminals. Boop. Um, I think I'm going to chop my old ones off the Forester. So they can connect to a... Um, I've got a plug to just... Plug and play, which is easy. There's only two wires, nothing holding me back. Overcome. Adapt. Adapt to survive. Overcome, everybody. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> okay. Oh. Come here often? It's raining. Get right, cool bit. bananas. That's done. Um, what's next? Um, where's my over tank? What GC what what did um GC8s run? Uh, 98 to 2000 Ooh, have a in guard tank. So this is the fun part that nobody tells you about. Yeah, no, that's cool. I just Coke bottle. Yeah, or Red Bull can or something. Yeah. Anything. Let's use this lamp as one. Let's not. I just have this feeling that you have a fetish for blue silicon. I just have a fetish for silicon. Blue <laughs> silicon. <laughs> <laughs> wow! That escalated quickly. Oi! That's like, pretty there's pretty is so much blue oh silicon God. in this engine bay. And a sway bar that looks completely blue in video. Strap race. Strap race, sway bar, same Jesus. shit. Alright, so I'm back for the next day. So yesterday was a bit tired. Um, didn't really get to explain what I wanted to say. So, radiator's ready to go in. I've put the pipes on. They're all ready to go. That one's loose, but this one's tight, so I've got to get under there and do that one. The other thing I've got to figure out what to do is with my overflow bottle. Alright, so, after the phone getting full again and me deleting some more poo-poo... Um, I've been bashed, I've been abused, I've been yelling, I've been screaming. Pipes still aren't on. So what happened there, I cut a little bit too much off, which sucks, but I bought some more, they're on their way. They'll be in hopefully next week. I'm just over it, not working. Um, right now actually, I'm about to paint the new, paint the new, um, mounts. Just to give them a coat of gold, just to match in a little bit. I'm going to take this off, the top plate, it's just bolts, it's just simply a top plate, um, and I'm going to paint that blue, if I have any more left. It's not going to match with the rest of the blue, but it's going to be blue. Kind of a headache where the biggest, biggest thing that was meant to happen today didn't, but oh well. 
poo poo happens, I'll just do some more shit. The vibe is right tonight. Me and Patty are working our butts off and it's going sweet. So far, Don't hopefully I don't jinx myself, but I think we've had enough time for the bad karma to finally become good karma. Like something's actually working. Um, what I'm gonna try and do now, because let's try and get as much as I can do. Let's try and get out this aircon. And as I said in the last video, what we're gonna do is take this alternator off because there's a bolt, I think, down there. I think. So take this off and take the lines and all that jazz. Ow. So, it's been a couple of days since I took the last bit of footage. Um, so what you've seen then, I'm not sure if you've seen, um, I kind of stuffed up that bottom radiator pipe with cutting it too short. Not even cutting it too short, I cut the wrong side of it. To put it easy, I fucked up. So I got on the Ebays and just bought some cheapo coolant pipes. Came with everything. Top rad pipe, bottom rad. All these doodads and it came with um, came with some uh, turbo coolant pipes as well which not putting on yet because i ain't pulling the turbo out because you yeah, know nah. so it's all hooked up from what i've put on um i did have to chop the bottom one especially this side i had to chop maybe like a quarter off that length because as you can see it's pretty much up against the um timing case it is, yeah, like it is sitting up against it, but it's not kinked too bad, so Worst comes to worst, I can troubleshoot it And this side, there's, it's a little tight, but it's like a little bit kinked, nothing too special That one's on, um, and here, because Because I couldn't use my overflow bottle from my Fosrad I've had to come to conclusions and kind of just use this And I'm going to try and mount that somewhere, so the Red Bull can will be coming as a overflow bottle, obviously from there. What I need to do now is I'm going to try and hopefully start it. So I need to push it out, jump start it because this thing is flat. You do that, that. Um, I've got some Penrite radiator flush that I'm going to run through it just to clean the engine out anyway, or the coolant passages. So I'm going to do that, mix that with water. Um, let it do its cycle, its clean cycle, whatever, however, I think it's like 15 minutes or whatever. Let it do that, drop that, and then I can fill it up with coolant. So, first things first, I gotta push this thing out on my own. The forest is outside, the tow vehicle is ready to go, um, I put the water in and the rad flush, um, I just need to add a little bit by a little bit, let the airs go through and then I'll start her over, let it bleed, let it do its thing, and then yeah, dump it, but darkness is arising and I gotta do it quick. Alright, well hopefully you can hear me, but I did get it started. I forgot to set the camera up, but um, she was that dead that I had to like properly charge her up. It wouldn't just jump up. So, as you see in the background, she has started with that big old rad. And the, um, like the excess bloody aircon fluids just fucking burning away. So, I'm gonna get this thing bled and I'll be back. It's all bled, the cap's on, after I lost it for about five minutes. 
a um, little bit relaxed now. Um, yeah, so my fan plug didn't want to clip on and it was sitting on the headers and just melted, so that sucks. But, um, yeah, there's not too much to go left. I'm just going to take the rest of the aircon out. You might see, it might not. It's nothing special, it's just ripping it out, literally. So, um, I think that's it for this episode of Project Driveway. Stay tuned for next week as I don't even know what we're going to do, but you'll find out. Make sure to leave a like. It helps us so much in the long run. And to subscribe so you don't miss the next episode of ours.